People love it because they understand it. They understand representation. Okay, let me put it this way. Representational art versus abstract art. Okay, brother, abstract art is really only a decoration. I don't give a rat's arse what your theories are or what your philosophy is or any of your ideas behind your creation. And I'm an artist. And that kind of thing is interesting to me on a theoretical level. Okay, brother. Only artists, only people who want to feel intellectual care, and only rich people care. They're buying art to make themselves feel smart, and because it's a good investment. Maybe they actually believe in the system of, they could have put a abstract piece of art there, but it wouldn't have connected to anybody. People connect to the bronze fonts, whether it's art or not. Really a ridiculous debate. Representational art, abstract art. Without all of your fees and papers and credibility lending statements that are hung on a placard next to it in the gallery, the art is just decoration. So, if your decoration is something that nobody wants in their house, a bunch of pennies covered in honey, you've lost 99% of your viewing audience. Seriously want to be part of the 1% making art for the 1%? They're the only ones that are gonna buy it. Even the troglodytes of our dim prehistoric past knew that representational art trumped abstract expressionist art, cave dweller, as abstract and I'm not gonna say crude. The cave drawings, they were representational. They connected to these drawings. These drawings connected to them part of their spirituality. Franz Fons is part of the spirituality of 99% of its viewers. Now my only problem with the Bronze Fons is that it's way too small. The Fons is larger than life. Henry Winkler is the one who's shorter than life. Oh, or actually Henry Winkler would be considered equal proportions, one to one ratio. That's smaller than life. Fons is an idea. And ideas are always bigger than the people who carry them. It represents coolness. It represents the blue collar working man represents mechanics, marginal in society. It's larger than life, cave dweller. It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, larger than life, but Sarah Michelle Gellar, only life size. And she's old. Mm -hmm.